Alright guys, what's going on? So, as you know, this Bebop was donated to my channel and uh, by a friend of mine who got it refurbished, but it came with some issues um, and they didn't want to deal with the issues, which is understandable, that's fine. Uh, so, it, both of these motors are have bent shafts. As you can see, that one shoved all the way in and this one is out and there's just some funky stuff going on here. So, we have... Uh, all new uh, motors for this however these two are perfectly fine uh, these two are just in really rough shape these ones got uh, pretty gnarly beat up so we're gonna go ahead and change these out today uh, the only downside to the parrot products is that you have to order the parrot toolkit and this is a ten dollar kit and it came from Hong Kong and this thing took forever to get here so um, <clears throat> I've never changed a motor on a parrot so we're gonna kinda take this adventure together and uh, see what happens. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over and we're going to find out exactly what star bit we need here. Let's see, that one seems too small. Let's see, next size up here. I don't even know. These are definitely Torx bits. That one's too big. I think we found a winner, maybe? Nope. That one's too, too small. Wow, man, these are some really tiny, tiny, tiny heads. So I guess this is the winner here. Felt like it was a little loose, but nope. That is definitely the winner. Okay, so we're going to set these aside here. There's one. Let's see what these look like. There's two. Number three. And number four. All right, now this actually looks like it's going to be really easy uh, to do because it looks like the motor just disconnects. Um, so let's uh, let's pop this clip here out first. Let's see if that came loose. It did not. Okay. So let's uh let's pull this out here. We're gonna pop this clip off if I can. We're gonna carefully uh pry this clip out of here. So I found the easiest thing to do guys was take these two screws out that are holding the ESC in place. And once I got this out, I was able to just pull and it finally disconnected. That was really in there, though. I was surprised by how tight that was. So I went ahead and just undid this line. So let's see what motor goes where here. So if this is staring at me, yellow would be in the back. So let's go ahead and get one of these yellow motors out of here. This is actually really easy to do once you have the toolkit. And I love how it says C on it clockwise. Okay, yellow one out of here. Come on out of there. There we go. I should have a C on it. C and C, if you guys can see that C. All right, let's take the uh, rubber guard off here and set that motor down. We're going to figure out. Looks like it takes Phillips head now. Three, uh, three screws here to remove the motor. Let's get these out of the way. Let's get these out of the way. So changing the motors guys is actually a fairly easy job. These obviously had Loctite on them. Okay, the motor should just come off of there now. Beautiful. Here's the uh, here's the old one, the bent motor shaft. This is a wobbly devil here. This would not fly if it wanted to. Okay. Well, let's set that aside. Drop my one screw here with Loctite. We're gonna see if we can get this back in there. 
two screws first and then we'll just drop the third one. Line up your little holes. There we go. Two of those are in. Let's uh, go ahead and drop this third one. Luckily these are magnetic. We're going to put these in nice and tight here guys. I don't really have any Loctite but these should be balanced pretty good. So There we go. Let's pull this back out of the way here. We're going to pop the ESC back in and slide it into place here. Before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and connect this, put this piece underneath back here, run that line down like so, I should be able to just push this right in. Like that. Excellent. Okay, let's make sure these wires go down good. There we go. There we go. Alright, see if we can get some screws in here. What do you guys say? Screws? Screws are probably a good idea. Alright. Make sure this is pushed down nice and hard. Take one of these small ones here. And drop it in the hole. See if we can find its hole it's supposed to go to. Got it. Crank her down until she's tight. There she be. Not quite, huh? Okay. Back it out. It may take a minute to find these tiny, tiny little holes here, guys. You may just have to try things until you get it to line up. I think I got it that time. Nope. There it is. There it is. Got it. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Put this other one in here. Make sure these are in nice and tight. There we go. The motor's on there good. Let's flip this leg back out again where it goes. Let's see here. I have that backwards? No, I had it right. Okay. I just want to make sure we had it right here. Time to line these up again. We'll go ahead and put one screw in. There she is. Once we line that one up, we'll drop another one in here. And it's pretty much the same for the back. There's no difference. Take you a minute to find the holes. Once you find them, start putting them in. There she is. There we go. And the last two here on the back side. Excellent. One more. And then uh, pretty much the same thing for the front, guys. Just make sure you grab the right motor when you do it. The next one will probably say counterclockwise. There we go. New motor.
motor. Sounds good to me. The shaft looks absolutely straight. That is perfect. Perfect. All right, then all you got to do is snap your props back on after you replace your motor. So this is going to be a counterclockwise. But uh, no reason to do that one because you see how easy it is. The front one's going to be the same way. So Okay, guys, here's the uh, old motors. They are toast. New ones are on there. This is on. This will be my first opportunity to actually use the Sky Controller 2. And uh, hoping everything goes smooth. I'm going to take this outside and we're going to give this its first flight honestly uh, it has not had a flight since I've got it I have no idea how much battery life is on this so if we do have a flight it's gonna be a short one um, but here is the sky controller 2 which I already have rigged up and set up to go with my phone and uh, I think once I just plug it in it should automatically kick up the app but I have to unlock it and do all that fun jazz so I'll see you guys outside alright I have no clue how much power this thing has but we're gonna turn it on Okay, and uh, the Sky Controller 2 is just weirdly different. You just plug in this cord and then you turn it on and you wait and it should automatically open Free Flight Pro here in a second. Okay, as I, see, as I said, it opens Free Flight Pro automatically for you, which is interesting. It says, uh, controller has 68% charge. Get off my screen, I don't care. Get off, get off, get off my screen. Come on, get off. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right, let's see how long it takes to connect here. All right, apparently it's working now. That's, uh, I got 50% battery. Stop commenting. Leave me alone, people. Jeez, oh, Pete, man. Facebook is off the heezy right now. I'm going to start a recording. Let's, uh, let's take off. Obviously I put the motors on right or that wouldn't have happened like that. It is communicating with the Sky Controller too. But for some stupid reason it went into VR mode. What the heck? Oh, I'm gonna take it for a flight anyways. Let's just see how it does here. I'll figure all this out later. Bank mode has obviously been activated. Oh man, she flies beautiful. She flies like an absolute champ. Look at this. It's a beautiful thing. Look at that bank turn. Gosh, that's graceful. And it even self writes itself perfectly. Bank turn and let out of it and self writes slowly. It doesn't just. I'll tell you what, man, the Bebop 2 is such an amazing machine. I have no idea how somebody crashed this. This thing is fantastic. A couple oscillations from the wind there coming down too fast. Let's have a look at those props. She is spinning perfect now, boy. She is ready for some flying. Ready for some flying. Man, beautiful. Just gorgeous. All right, let's bring her down here. We're going to set her down. First flight, I'm going to have to figure this app out because this is craziness. I have no idea what it's doing. Oh, now we're not in VR mode anymore. Oh, what just happened? Why did it disconnect? I went back to VR mode. Why did it go back to VR mode? That's dumb. All right, I'm gonna figure out how to turn off VR mode. Let's land this thing. Okay. Should have stopped too. Man, it just wants to constantly be in VR mode and I don't want it to be. That's so dumb. So, so dumb. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, no more VR mode. All right, well, guys, I'm going to mess with this a little bit more here. Figure out how to stop VR mode from trying to activate, because all, all it seems to want to do is go into VR mode. So that's obviously something in the settings, and we'll get that adjusted. But flies good. Seems to be connected. 
I flew it down to 28%. I have no clue how good that battery is, so I'm gonna charge it up and then we'll take it out tomorrow. It's obviously working flawlessly now that uh, the motors are, are good to go. When we first wound this up the first time, man, the motor shafts were jiggling and it sounded like it wanted to fall out of the sky and it was just going crazy, so fixed. All right, guys, drone worship, and I'm out of here. Toodaboo!